Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we are from Group 8. We present our final project for BFC 21103 Hydraulic. Members of Group 8 are Lau Jian Ping, Tan Yi Ben, La Lim Si Hui, Tam Yi Mei, and myself, Mas Izatumirah binti Mas Wirasta. For the introduction, drainage is the system that removes excess water from the soil surface and below so as to permit optimum growth of soil. There are two types of drainage. The first one is surface drainage, which is, which is the system typically accommodate and up the channel. And the second one is subsurface drainage, which is the method of removal of the water which has infiltrated into the soil. And the highway drainage consists of removing or controlling surface water and subsurface water aloof from the path surface and also the subgrade supporting it. Problem Statement and Objective The first one is to determine and label the type of drain suitable along the proposed road for channel 375 to channel 600 meter, and to analyze and sketch the directions of flow within the drain along the channel 375 meter to channel 600 meter, to design the drain system by using JKR standard drawing for road work section 3 drainage works. And the last is to design the size for a chosen drain system by considering the rational method for 20-year ARI event and the Kampung Sungai Yap rainfall station. Problem Statement To construct a suitable drainage of 225 meter long road, which are channel 375 meter to channel 600 meter at Kampung Sungai Yap, the landslide area should be stabilized to prevent the slope failure. And the last one is to provide the adequate drainage for discharging the runoff and for enhancing the, the road performance. Salam Sejahtera Doctor, my name is Tami Mei and the number metric is AF200151. Now I will introduce the methodology of this project. First of all, 10 continuous challenges are selected from the proposed plan and the longitudinal channels of the Kampung Sungai Yap Jaratu Pahang. After that, types of drain which are suitable along the proposed route are chosen and labelled based on the JKR standard drawing for the route words for those 10 continuous challenges. Then direction of flow along the area of the 10 continuous challenges along the proposed route as sketch and analyze. At the same time, the area along the 10 continuous challenges are divided into developed area and undeveloped area before the calculation of area. Moreover, the sub area also needed to be found out. Last but not least, two methods are used in order to calculate the rational flow rate and the capacity flow rate with different formula and concept in the following before the comparison is made in the data analysis. Segments of different land use within the sub can be combined to produce an average runoff coefficient which is the formula below where the CJ is the runoff coefficient of segments and the AJ is the area of segment HA and the M is the total number of segments. The overland shade flow travel time T-naught is the movement of water over the land down slope towards the surface water body where T0 is equal to 107 times the holden Lawrence's value times the overland shift flow path length to the power of 1 over 3 divided by the slope of overland surface to the power of 1 over 5. Like the stick shape, the L is less than and equal to 50 meter. The next step is we are going to find the green time where the equation is equal to TD equal the remaining Lawrence's coefficient times the length of which divided by the 60 times the hydraulic radius to the power of 2 over 3 times the friction slope to the power of 1 over 2. Time of concentration TC is the time between the rainfall landing on the catchment and the water reaching the point of the drainage system being considered. While the equation is TC equal to T0 plus TD. When the T0 is equal to overland shift flow travel time and TD is equal to the travel time in rain. Thus, when we get the time of concentration, we must transfer it into the unit of hour. This is because when we estimate the rainfall intensity, the storm duration is in hour. To calculate the rainfall intensity value from the ITF curve, are as the formula below, where the T is equal to the average recurrence in the world, and the D is the storm duration, and those lambda K delta N are the fitting constant depends on the rain gauge location. Moreover, the rational method is mostly used technique for the runoff peak estimation in Malaysia and many parts of the world. It gives the satisfactory result from the small drainage catchment and estimation of the rational flow by using this equation. Where the Q rational is equal to uh, 
uh, run of call action times the average rainfall intensity and times the drainage area divided by 360 while the formula of capacity flow rate is 1 over n times a times r to the power of 2 over 3 times s to the power of 1 over 2 where n is manning roundness coefficient and a is wetted area r is hydraulic radius and s is channel slope good morning and good evening my name is lao jim ping today i will going to present how to determine and level the type of the drain level along the proposal block channel 375 meter and to channel 600 meter and to analyze and sketch the direction of the flow within the drain along uh, along three along channel 375 meter to channel 600 meter in this plane profile the green light is the interceptor drain the blue light is the bench drain the red light is the roadside drain the yellow line is the shoulder drain and the brown line is the embankment coil or drain to determine and label the type of the drain, we need to calculate the difference in the slope of the height to here. In the picture of the classification of the slope, there is uh, the green color is the spill upward and the CM color is the cut upward. The cut upward in the cut, cut upward, uh, the slope of the height of the hill if less than six meter. The roadside drain and the interceptor drain is required. If it is more than 6 meters, bench drain is needed to add. However, a field upward, the slope of the height of the hill less than 6 meters, the shoulder drain and embankment or drain is required. If it is more than 6 meters, the burn drain is needed. In the cross section, I had labeled the drain suitable along the proposal road channel from 375 meter to the channel 600 meter. Uh, for example, for the channel 375 meter, uh, the the green circle is the interceptor drain. The blue circle is the bench drain and the Red circle is the broadside drain. It's all the same. I mean the uh, I mean the color of the circle. For the channel five hundred mm, to five hundred fifty, the yellow the, the yellow circle is the shoulder drain and the brown color is the embankment toy drain. The channel five hundred and seventy five also the same. Uh, there is no burn drain because uh, it is uh, it because uh, the slope of the height is less than six meters, so there is no burn drain is, is required. I had analysis and sketched the direction of the flow within the drain from the channel three hundred seventy five to three hundred uh, to channel six hundred meter. E is the direction of the floor within the drain. For example, to change 375, the, the direction of the floor is from the intercepted drain to the to the bench drain and lastly go to the roadside drain. That's all for me, thank you. Hello, my name is Tan E. Pen. Metric number AF200141. Now, I would like to continue calculation of Q capacity for every drains in the 10 continuous challenges. Based on the JKR standard, drains are in different shapes and some drains are combination of more than one shapes. Therefore, calculations for vetted area A and perimeter B are based on this table of formula. Meanwhile, Hydraulic radius is calculated using formula wetted area A divided by wetted perimeter B. Channel slope for all 10 continuous challenges are 0 0.05. All the results of calculation for both sides of road is shown in the table. Bench drain type 1 has Q capacity of 0 0.12.
Next, abutment toe drain type 2 has Q capacity of 1.85. Q capacity of interceptor drain type 2 is 1.55. Next, Q capacity of roadside drain type 2 is 2.08. Lastly, shoulder drain has a Q capacity of 0.09. That's all from me. Thank you. My name is Lim Si Hui, metry number AF200131. So I will explain about calculate of discard flow of rational. So the first, we want to calculate the area of the rows. We get 4.1675 by 10 power 6 centimeter square. So we know that 1 centimeter square is equal to 10 power negative x half ta. So the area of the road is 0 0.0416 x half ta. So the area we have cut into three sections, and in these three sections have developed and undeveloped area. For developed area is the root area, for the constant or rub off coefficient is 0 0.95, and for the undeveloped area is gas cover is 0 0.5. So in three sections, we want to calculate the developed and undeveloped area first. So we using the area of the road 0 0.0416x times the channel we want to calculate. We get for different sections have the different value of divided and the different value of undivided. So we're using the divided and undivided times the constant of coefficients. We can get the total area for sub catchment one, two, and three. So we want to calculate average number of coefficients. We get the developed. 0.34178 times the constant divided plus undivided times the constant undivided divide by total area, we get the average of coefficients. So the different sub catchment have different average graph of coefficients. So after we get the average graph of coefficients, we need to find the average graph for intensity using a formula that already mentioned at methodology so that we get the discharge flow of rationals. So for this table is the interceptor drain for type 2 for right hand side. We know that for this 375 until 600 channels have different discharge flow of rational, but have the this not more than 0 0.1061. And for the right hand side, they are no more than 0 0.020x7. After that, we see types 2 of REN, that is bridge REN type 1 for the left hand side, for upper part and the lower part. There are no more than 0 0.013 and the right hand side is no more than 0 0.042x. So after that, we see the root side REN type 2 for right hand side. There are no more than 0 0.02667 and the right hand side no more than 0 0.3623. And after that, we go to see the shoulder drain. Shoulder drain is 475 until 575. And the discharge flow of rational is no more than 0 0.01705. And the right hand side also same with the left hand side. And the last of the drain is embankment through drain type 2 for the left hand side. The channel also same with the shoulder drain is, is 475 until 575. And the discharge flow of rational is no more than 0.01618. And right hand side is no more than 0.01445. So after we see the five type of the drain and the value of the discharge flow of rational and the discharge flow of the capacity, we can conclude that for the old channel, the discharge flow of capacity is higher than the discharge flow of rational. Next, I will make a conclusion in this project. Based on the previous study, our location of study, Kampung Sungai Yap Chantu Baham is a popular area of looting, especially during the monsoon season that starts from the November and ends at the December every year. Therefore, Baham River, as the main drainage system, plays an important role in drainage of the huge amount of water during the extreme rains to avoid flooding. However, this mixture still cannot be avoided and floating still occur regularly in Pahang State. This is because Pahang River can't afford large amount of rainwater and cause floods. Hence, an appropriate drainage system is required to make sure that all the areas are not prone to floating. 
in this project, two methods are used to design the drainage system in the study area, which are the aeration method and the capacity method. It is known that our study area, Kampung Sungai Yap Jantu Pahang, are mostly filled with the plantation area, such as the oil palm plantation, but still some housing area and some infrastructure. Hence, our study area can be divided into two, which are the developed areas and undeveloped areas. Result of area calculated are needed in designing the drainage system using the rational method. Suitable size and types of drainage are selected based on the JKR standard drawing for rootwards section 3. It is important that the flow rate capacity of design drainage must be greater than the flow rate based on the rational method to store more rainwater. This will help to decrease the chance of overflow situation from happening. Last but not least, it is undoubtful that the drainage system is a very important infrastructure in human daily life. Hence, the government should pay more attention and try to solve the problem more effectively. That's all for our group. Thank you.